What better way than to introduce back one character, character the thunder, uh, no, 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 the lightning is back and in a big damn hero moment too. The chapter of Fairytale, 447, Ajil uh, rises up after being punched by Natsu. And once again I note something, either it's the coloring changed, but Natsu's flames seems to be blacker. Than, bef than before. Maybe it's just me. But uh, the fact that I thought I saw them as black, it makes me wonder hmm, could that bandage on his arm really be a sign that End is reviving? Because many people are currently asking why is he always grabbing his uh, arm when he seems to be ready for a fight? Is Does it itch or something? Or is that some trigger of something? Or could it just be an accessory? Some people think it's his dragification, but uh, I say, come on, didn't Igneel and the other dragons create antibodies for that? It can't be that. But oh well, we'll take that when it happens. Either way, yeah, Ajil rises up and says he's gonna dry them all up with his sand. Makarov tries his best to shield them with his titan form, but Ajil summons a tsunami of sand that apparently to him is gonna dry everything up that it touches making uh, this very remnants of a crocodile from One Piece. But either way, as soon as this sand is about to swallow up Makarov, the lightning strikes. And it's indeed Luxus. He split that tsunami in half. No, he obliterated it and he apparently stands on a, on a flying machine that belongs to the Blue Pegasus Gang. The Thunder uh, Gang and uh, the Fairytale B team is here to save them all. Then what's gonna happen to Sodamo? Isn't she waiting for them? Huh. Well, I hope she escapes. Either way, uh, they all uh, the Thunder tribe uh, wonders uh, if uh, when that ha how no. They wonders. Uh, uh, they say it's great to see Wendy again, and now that she's grown up into a beautiful young woman. Once again, doing that gag that you have grown, Wendy, and she just says, No, I haven't changed. Either way, Ajil tries to prevent them from escaping when Mess teleports them onto the ship. However, uh, Gaji, no, Luxus just says, We're going home to dinner, and fires another lightning, and BAM! Wow, that's an explosion! You thought Natsu had uh, been training insanely this week. Luxus has come. You gotta give it to it. That was power. He merely just flicked uh, his lightning and it's uh, sh shot off explosion. Oh yeah, and it was shown something. Don't know if how that is possible, but apparently the Blue Pegasus ship has some kind of magic barrier that... Uh, allows the dragon slayers not to get sick because uh, not to comment on that when he sees them at first and when he's on the ship he notices himself he's not sick the first thing he does is of course pick a fight with Luxus and Luxus just says oh shut up I can agree that was actually pretty satisfying to hear I mean I mean a little bit saying not so I know you don't have uh, no I shouldn't say that <clears throat> I should say, Natsu, I know that a lot of people complain that you don't have any character development, but come on, man. Read the atmosphere. With Makarov in tears, he thanks his kids as they escape. But Ajil survived, of course, but it was not his own power. He was protected by another Spring and Twelve. Although Spring and Twelve, although Ajil... Yeah. It's the, oh damn, I forgot that old man. But it's the Wizard King who did that. Uh, no, August, there it is. He apparently, Ajil says probably that he would have survived that even without uh, August's barrier. That shows that August can come create a barrier that can even block Lightning's attack from Luxus. That is powerful. But, um,. Honestly, I don't think Ajil would have emerged unscratched from that attack. As much as he brags about it, that was just too powerful. Well, nothing can be too powerful now. 
But it Seraph says the war is starting, fairy tale is escaping. But again, what's gonna happen to Zorano? Well, she must escape too. So now they have saved Makarov and they're back to the guild. But, uh, well, they're flying back to the guild. But, uh, yeah. What's next? Next is to fight the power. Can they defeat the Spring and Twelve? They are the main characters! Of course they can! I just wonder when. But do give me your thoughts. If you have any.